Hi everyone, it's me Maddie, and welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. If I'm not talking super loud, it's because it's 11 11 at night. Uh, make a wish. I wish this video turns out good. That's my wish that it turns out like a good video. Um, and it's late at night, and I should be getting ready and brushing my teeth for bed, but instead, I'm going to be filming a video on my theory for what the fourth title of the Nevermore books mean. So, real quick, I'm going to give you my relationship with the Nevermore books. The Nevermore series by Jessica Townsend is three books long. You have Nevermore, Wondersmith, and Hollowpox. I loved Nevermore and Wondersmith. I did not like Hollowpox, like, at all. I thought that Hollowpox was really just added to add stuff and, like, set up the story for the back half of the series, which I think, if I remember, I don't actually have a script, so we're just going off my good old trusty brain, which I always say I'll come back to something, and I never do. Um, but if I remember, I'll come back to a little bit of that. It might just flow in. Like I said, I don't have a script. So that's my my feelings with the Nevermore book. But today is um, the 2nd of June, and Jessica Townsend released a purple picture of the cover. It is called or not the cover, the title. I'm sorry, we haven't got that yet. But it is called Silverborn, The Mystery of Morgan Crow. And I have a couple of ideas. And by couple, I mean one idea for what this could possibly mean. We don't have a synopsis or anything. I'm just going off of my memory of the last three books, which I reread before. I read the first, reread the first two before I read Hollowpox. And I read Hollowpox when it came out in America. So. It's been a little bit, um, just a couple of months, I don't know, but we're just going to go off my mind and I'm just going to say what I think this could possibly mean. Again, no synopsis, just the title is what I'm theorizing today. So, first off, Silverborn, I have no idea what Silverborn can mean. I'm, I don't know what it stands for, I don't know what it could allude to. Uh, the first three books all had stuff that was really important to the story, Nevermore. Obviously, we got introduced to Nevermore, Wondersmith, Morgan's a, a Wondersmith, a Hollowpox is the disease that took over the entire book, so I assume Silverborn is going to have something to do with the main plot as well. I don't know what the main plot's going to be, but I think it's going to be something along the lines of Wondersmithing. I don't know if that's a verb, but we're going to go with it. So, I don't know what Silverborn means, but I definitely feel like it's going to be related to the Wondersmith. Because if you don't know, the third book um, ended with Morgan accepting an offer to be Ezra's apprentice. And I'm so excited. I'm so excited to see more Ezra. Ezra is my favorite character. I am not afraid to say that. I love Ezra. I like Hawthorne, but I love Ezra more. He's my favorite character of the entire series. So I have very high hopes that we'll get more of Ezra in this book. So basically, the last book ended with Morgan accepting an apprenticeship from Ezra to work on her wondersmithing powers. So that's why I think Silverborn, Silverborn, Silverborn has to do with wondersmithing. Maybe Silverborn is how wondersmiths were first created, how they were born. Because silver, I mean, I don't know. Just the silver feels like reminds me of like wondersmith. I don't know. I know Wonder doesn't isn't silver in color, but maybe that's what it alludes to how Wondersmiths were created. I don't know. But what I have more of a theory on is the after part of the title, the mystery of Morgan Crow. That's what I have more of a theory on. And my theory for that is that the overall theory is, I mean, the overall title, I'm sorry. <laughs> I think that the title, uh, The Mystery of Morgan Crow, relates to Morgan getting closer to Ezra. Um, this is probably just me loving Ezra, because I love him, but something that I really, really want is more Ezra and Morgan bonding. I want her to finally get over her fear for him, of him being the big bad, and for them to get closer to him, for them to kind of have like maybe like a brotherly or like a, like a family-like relationship. That's something I really, really want. So I think that in this book, Morgan's going to get closer to Ezra, which, I mean, is inevitable because she's his apprentice. And obviously, we're going to have a couple of pages where she's like, ah, I don't believe you. How's this going to help me? You know, resistance. But I eventually think she's going to 
see Ezra in a new light because what we learned in the third book which again I think was way too long I think it just set up a lot of stuff it's introduced sub nine which we didn't really get to see much of but I think we'll definitely get to see more of that in this book it also introduced the idea of a new wondersmith of another wondersmith that's been out in hiding and Ezra isn't as bad as everyone thinks <laughs> Don't worry, baby. I knew you weren't a bad guy. Um, and it also introduced the apprenticeship. Uh, so I think that all three of those are going to have a really big part in the series. But I think that with her, with Morgan, working with Ezra to learn how to control her powers is going to give us more information on this new Wondersmith. Who he is, or what who she is. I don't know. Uh, who they are. I don't know what... Yeah, but I think it's just going to give us more information on that and what that, how that Wondersmith is related to Ezra. Um, I've lost my train of thought. I don't know what I was on the point before I introduced that, went on that long rant, so I apologize. Um, but yeah, I just think that with Morgan getting closer to Ezra, she's going to learn more about this new Wondersmith. And I also think that she's going to start acting a little bit like him. I don't mean she's going to go evil, because Ezra's evil. I mean, he kind of is, but he's to me, I'm blind-eyed by his evilness, okay? Um, but yeah, I think she's going to become closer to Ezra and maybe start to act like him in some way. Obviously, she's going to learn how to control her powers from him, so I just think there's a possibility she might start to act like him, and that's going to probably her closeness with Ezra or her new found relationship with Ezra, be it good or bad, is going to reflect on her old friendships with her group, with Hawthorne, and I think it's going to affect her relationship with her father-like figure Jupiter. Um, and I think all of those three separate things I just listed, the group, Hawthorne and Jupiter, um, I guess also Jack, uh, is going to kind of be concerned for Morgan because I think she's going to just start being a bit of a different person. Um, maybe we'll get a dark Morgan. I would love a dark Morgan. I would not complain. I love when characters go dark. I don't think we're going to get that, but I would not complain. Um, so I just think the overall, the mystery of Morgan, Clo Mor of Morgan Crow is on the like point of view of Jupiter, Hawthorne, and the group because they're like, well, what's happening with Morgan? That's the theory, is that the title basically is all related to her newfound relationship and apprenticeship with Ezra. That's the theory. Was it bad? Oh, most definitely. I don't have anything else to use except my memory as facts <laughs> and to put in to make this theory sound real. But that's what I think it is. As soon as I read the title, this theory popped into my head. I told my granny about it and she didn't really believe me, but... She doesn't really like Ezra as much as me, and I love Ezra, so homage to Ezra. Is that what homage means? I use that word right? I promise you, I write, okay. Anyway, so yeah, that's the theory. I don't know if it was very good. Tell me what you guys think. I don't have a synopsis yet, so maybe, like, the synopsis could either make or break this theory, because I promise you, if it says something completely different related to Morgan, my theory is broken. But if it has anything to do with the apprenticeship my theory could be right. Uh, but yeah, I do need to reread the series. I don't really want to reread Hollow Pox, but I'm obviously going to have to. I'm going to reread the series before Silverborn gets here, and I'm also probably should reread it before I start making theory videos. I've never thought I'd make theory videos, but here we are. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this chaotic video. I'm sorry if it didn't make any sense. Tell me what you guys believe this book's going to be about. What's your favorite Nevermore book? My favorite is Wondersmith. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I just jabbed myself in the throat. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching this video. I love you all so much. I gotta go get ready for bed. And hey, do not forget I'm still a freaking bulldozer. Just I'm a bulldozer now who bulldozes theories. No, I build theories to be bulldozed. Okay, bye everyone. I love you. See you next time.